Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This video for Tuesday, June 28th, 2011, is brought to you by Realtek. All right, guys, let's get right into the mix today. We have a fair amount to cover here. First off, the markets are in rally mode once again. Now, the key is to really understand what is going on in the markets. You have to look overseas to Europe. Now, the markets rallied yesterday and again today on anticipation that tomorrow's 5 a.m. Eastern time vote on the austerity packages in Greece will be passed. If they are not passed, this market it could get slammed pretty hard. At this point, from the rally yesterday at the lows all the way up to today, you have a sizable gain in the markets. It's being factored in that that will pass. If it does not, watch out below. So again, my thought process, and this is something that I told my traders today in the intraday stock chat, I said, listen, if you look at this market, it very likely can go up for a good portion of the day, but you might see, and I repeat, you might see a little late-day profit-taking on people who do not want to hold into the close today in regards to that vote being tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. That vote will be before the markets even open. The futures will be open at that point at 5 in the morning. If it does not pass, people don't want to put themselves in a position to take losses. So I do think that's a possibility. I think the markets may have topped out for the day. We may see a little bit of selling towards the end of the day. I don't think a lot of selling. I I think the markets will still end to the upside, but again, it could very well be a little bit on the sell side. All right, the Dow Jones Industrial Average up 115 points, NASDAQ up 32, S&P up 13, basically a 1% gain across the board. It's another solid rally day, second day in a row, which is a rarity these days in the markets. Now, I went on record Friday of last week saying that at the end of Friday, I wrote a report to my premium members of the Research Center, and again, I said, listen, guys, I think the market rallies in the coming week, and sure enough, that's been dead on so far, so congratulations to those of you that played that in off of that call. A couple other things to go over here. First off, a note here for everyone out there listening to this free video. No hype live broadcast. I will be doing a live broadcast tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I will get the key about tomorrow night's live broadcast, and I do these about once a week or so. The fact is, I'm going to go over major trade setups for the coming days for small caps. I'm going to release probably two or three of my favorite small caps tomorrow night, and also two or three stock setups on large caps. So if you want to get in on these small caps and these large cap setups, you got to be in that No Hype Live broadcast. Again, you can watch it on Archive if you're a member afterwards as well. So again, be aware of that. But if you're not a member of In The Money Stocks, take that free trial. There's a free trial, seven-day free trial. Try us out. This is a great time to do it going into this weekend because we're going to set you up for the following July 4th session in the markets next week as well. All right, guys, let's go over a couple other things here. Spiders looking interesting here. Again, still holding near the highs of the day. Take a look at the dollar, guys, and this is the simple thought about it. The dollar is lower today. Granted, the dollar has slowly been creeping up, but the volume is so light today that even that slow creep up in the, in the dollar is not putting much pressure on the markets. The markets have stalled out, but they're not really pulling back on the slow creep higher in the dollar. And again, if you go back to the spiders, look at how light the volume is. You can barely see these candles at the bottom of the chart. This is what we call also holiday volume. Holiday volume. Volume. Uh, this is part of the reason why I called for an up week this week is because the volume would be light. I also thought that the level we were at on the Spiders daily chart, which is a master level right here, as you can see, this level stretches all the way back to the lows of 2009. You're, there's no way that they were going to break this level. And when I say they, I mean you know Federal Reserve, institutional players, black box trading programs. There was no way they were going to let this break, even if they had to support it themselves going into a holiday weekend. Remember, holiday weekends are when people spend the most money. They want the market to be good. If the market can rally it into Friday and continue to hold up for the most part into Friday, chances are people will spend more money. When you take each individual out there, even if they only spend $5 more a piece, it adds up to millions and millions, if not billions of dollars in consumer spending which is a positive for the economy. The Federal Reserve knows that. Ben Bernanke knows that. There's no way they were going to let this thing break. So again, that was part of the reason why I called for a rally this week as well. And again, it is happening. And you can see this level right down here, guys, holding up so beautifully on the charts. Now, let's go back to the intraday. I want to take a look at a couple different stocks out there that are having good days. Before we look at stocks, let's take a look at the GLD, which is gold, the ETF for gold. And it's up 32 cents. It's up on the weaker dollar a little bit. I mean, that's, that's basically all it is. Nothing major there. SLV, same thing. Thing, up a couple pennies, 22 cents on the day. Uh, SLV was a great call last week. I gave this out, guys. I said, listen, you're right here. And this is when I made the call, right on this day, right here. I said, this is an in-spirit-of-bearish pattern. 
You can see the sharp down move, sideways consolidation slowly up underneath the 20. As long as it stays as a closing basis underneath the 20, this is going to go down. Sure enough, the results speak for themselves. Major drop in silver this week, and that was a very, very profitable call made in the research center, made to the chat room. And again, if you take that free trial, you get all the videos every single night. You get the technical tactics, daily mark reports, hot charts and alerts, which are trading alerts of swing trades, uh, long and short the market, depending on what we see in the charts. All of that's included in the free trial, and if you can continue as a member, then obviously it's included in the, in the uh, whole membership as well here at In The Money Stocks. And by the way, new website launching soon as well, which will have a whole social side for traders to converse with each other at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Exciting stuff here, guys. The money keeps being made. The new website's in the process almost being completed here, and across the board, it's good stuff. Hidden Gem, by the way, also next week, so there's just a lot of good stuff coming up right now. All right, let's go back to a couple other things. Let's take a look at charts today. One chart I was looking at earlier today was First Solar. First Solar having a very solid day, up about $5.75. The reason why First Solar is having a good day, there's, it's a twofold reasoning. Uh, number one, the USO. Oil is up. And the USO is the tracking ETF for oil, but oil is having a pretty solid bounce day today after getting crushed all the way, you know, to about 90 bucks. It's bouncing back to about 92 or so. And when oil goes up, more people are likely to buy alternate energy because if oil goes up to 150 to 200 a barrel and so forth, alternate energy becomes very, very cheap in relation to that. More people will go. So again, oil goes up, alt energy goes up, including solar. In addition, if this austerity package packs, passes in Greece, that'll mean defaults and a chain reaction will not probably happen in the short term in Europe that's good for spending on alternate energy as well. Uh, Europe is big on alternate energy. They've always been big on alternate energy and therefore that's a good thing for solar. All right. The worst thing that could be for solar is if, if the chain reaction of default starts happening and the economy there just goes into a depression type situation, then obviously less less incentives to buy. There are going to be less um, rebates on solar energy and the rest of these energy players as well. So good thing for solar today is, is assuming it's going to pass. If it doesn't pass, watch these solars fall tomorrow most likely along with oil as well. Uh, other solars that are doing decently well today, SPWRA up 55 cents. Even Trina Solar, which is a Chinese stock uh, solar company, is trading up 47 cents. With oil's gain today, Exxon and Chevron are having big, big days, guys. These two stocks, Chevron and Exxon, have had a monster bounce back of late, and you can see it again here today with Exxon up a buck 28 and Chevron's up a dollar 13. A couple other stocks making waves today in the upside, and then we're going to look at some of the downside. But on the upside, IBM. IBM is carrying the Dow up $2.35 at the highs of the day here. IBM alone is probably the equivalent of, my guess is, about 15 points in the Dow, just this one stock. Remember, Dow is only 30, 30 stocks, so uh, the bigger the stock, the more weighting it has. IBM's a big stock, price cap weighted. Uh, it's going to have a major impact. It could even be 20 points on the Dow for all I know, but it's upwards of that level just alone on this one stock. All right, uh, MasterCard also a standout today, getting a good bounce today, up $5.40. Now let's take a look at some stocks that are getting hammered today. Today, financials. Financials continue to have a good day and then a bad day, and it seems like they're continuing to try to find that bottom. I called out a bottom a couple weeks ago. So far, that has been the exact bottom, although they haven't exactly gotten big moves off the lows. They have held that low pivot. I've made money in the Research Center with our subscribers on Morgan Stanley twice, buying and selling, buying and selling over the course of a couple days. Good swing trades for a good, you know, 50 cents or so plus on Morgan Stanley. I'm going to look to do it more in the coming days based off these stocks coming down. But Goldman Sachs, take a look, down a buck 25. When the market's having such a good day, it's pretty negative to see Goldman Sachs down a buck 25. There's no reason when the Dow's up 100 points, unless Goldman is very, very weak, that it should be negative. JP Morgan, take a look at this. This is off the lows of the day, but still down about 45 cents on the day. And again, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, all slightly negative. Wells Fargo's probably doing the best of all, just down a penny on the day. And you can see it, that was up earlier, but came in, and it slowly fought its way back. And again, we'll take a look at Morgan Stanley here, which is down 13 cents on the day as well. All right, guys, uh, small caps to watch right now. The only small cap that I've been kind of talking about in the intraday stock chat, I mean, there have been a couple, but uh, OXGN. OXGN is a little one. I like the chart here because it finally looks like it filled a gap here. Uh, it did fight off the lows. If this clears 270, this is going to be the key, guys. If OXGN clears 270, it should run all the way back here to about 330. So this is it's, it's not clearing right now. It's trading at about 253 to 255. 
Uh, but if it ever clears 270, that's your trigger to look at a major up move in this stock, and it should squeeze. There's a lot of shorts in that, folks, a lot of shorts. And uh, to short a stock that's only a market cap of $20 million or so is a very risky thing, especially on a biotech. But in any case, watch that. That'll be your trigger for a big move up if it breaks that 270 level. All right, let's see what else. Uh, the other thing I want to discuss here today, folks, you have some Chinese stocks having monster days. Take a look at Yoku, Y-O-K-U. Look at this chart. It's fallen from $70. It went all the way down to about $25. Today, it's up $8.5, folks. This is a huge move. $8.5 to the upside. A monstrous move. And again, Yoku, a big one. D-A-N-G, also big, up $1.12. That's a $10 stock. Was at one point a $30 stock, but went down to about $10. Now it's back to $11.5 on today's move. There are a lot of Chinese stocks that are getting big rebounds. Investors are now finding bargains in these things and running back into them. Ren, which is a little YouTube-type play from China. Look at this. IPO'd at around 20 bucks, went all the way down to about 6 It's down. It's back up to almost just shy of $8. So these things are on fire right now. Even EFUT, which is a micro-cap here, up $0.83. Cents. Look at this move on this little Chinese stock. Very thin, thinly traded, but also one to watch. I am watching other small caps. One small cap I think looks very, very cheap down here, BSPM. Uh, on earnings a while ago, it went all the way to $3 and change. It's now trading at just over a dollar. If it gets through this 20, it goes right to the 50 moving average at about a buck 41. So watch that as well, guys, okay? Uh, let me see if there's anything else on my watch list I'm watching. Uh, that's about it for now, I think. There are some others that I'm keeping an eye on, but I'll leave that for the intraday stock chat. Remember, guys, if you want to get involved, if you want to make money, take the free trial of the Research Center. You're going to learn our proprietary techniques. You're going to get trade alerts. You're going to get videos daily and much, much more. In addition, if you want to hear and talk to us, come into the intraday stock chat. There's a free trial for them both. Don't delay. This is the time to make moves in the market. This is when your pals all around the world are joining us and making moves and making money. If you're not making enough money, it's because you're not a member of in the market. Money stocks .com, bottom line. Take care, guys.